Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Answer Me TV. For those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by smashing the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my updates. A wonderful welcome once again to yet another episode where we give you updates on infrastructure development projects in Zimbabwe. Across Zimbabwe, in rural and urban district, we have witnessed massive construction projects undergoing. Ever since President Emerson Munangagwa took reins of power in November 2017, great progress has been witnessed in Zimbabwe. Here's a look at some of the major infrastructure development projects in Zimbabwe. The Mabuku Interchange. The interchange, which has already seen the commencement of initial work, such as bush clearing and creation of detour roads, is expected to significantly ease congestion on one of the country's most important stretches of road. The Harare Mutare Highway not only links the capital to the eastern border town of Mutare and Mozambique, but also serves heavy commuter and commercial traffic for Mabugu, Tafara, and surrounding suburbs. Construction of a trumpet interchange, also known as a flyover. Construction of a trumpet interchange, also referred to as a flyover, is underway in Mashingo Eben near Mashingo Polytechnic College, along the Bay Bridge Highway near Mashingo. This development will transform traffic flowing in the city easy mobility and enhanced travel efficiency. When complete, traffic heading to Bedbridge will traverse this road above the Masingo CBD through road. In other words, this great separation will allow traffic on the bypass heading to Bedbridge to flow smoothly over the road into the Masingo CBD, reducing congestion and improving travel times for all road users. Zimbabwe is also poised to become a regional investment hub with the construction of the African Export Import Bank, African Bank, African Trade Center project in Harare, near in completion. The construction of a 70 million United States dollar million cement plant in Chegutu is progressing well. The project is funded by Chinese investor Shantou Investment Private Limited. It's progressing steadily with the production schedule to begin early next year. The Sand Beach Road. The Binga local board is embarked on road works to widen and gravel the Sand Beach Road in preparation for the Kasamba Basin marathon set to take place at the month end in Binga in Matebelerin province. Great progress is also witnessed at the Kunzi Dam construction project. The Mazoa Walk. Once regarded as a quiet satellite district along the Harare Kanyemba Highway, Mazo is now rapidly transforming into a modern commercial hub with the new infrastructure reshaping its economic and social outlook. The latest milestone in Mazo Walk, a set of the art shopping mall that has already injected fresh vibrance into the district, thus creating jobs, boosting business confidence, and improving convenience. This development also complements the Mazowe Road dualization project. 
the Mazoe Road Dualization Project is expected to increase inflows from the town and further cement its role as the gateway of Mashonal and Central Province. Great progress, kilometer by kilometer, we have witnessed kilometers and kilometers of roads being opened along this road, Mazoe Road. The project is a critical component in enhancing road infrastructure network, easing traffic congestion, and stimulating economic growth. We are on the ground reaffirming our mandate to deliver tangible development and accelerate the nation's journey towards Vision 2030, according to Deputy Minister Honorable J.K. Sasko. The Harare Masungo Bed Bridge Highway Project. The Harare Masungo Bed Bridge Highway upgrade continues with new 5 km stretch for Klimsham Park to Nyanda Lodge completed and now open to traffic. Every kilometer gets us closer to a transformed national transport network as the journey continues. Mambolene Road. Road construction has kicked off in Lower Guerus of Fungu constituents, especially on the Mambolene Road. The grading of this road aims to enhance safety for travelers and facilitate the transportation of produce for local farmers. This development brings relief to residents who can now look forward to easier access to the city center and improved economic opportunities. Nut Farm Access Road Construction Project. The Minister of Transport and Infrastructure Development is pleased to announce the commitment of the surfacing phase for the Nut Farm Access Road Construction Project. This critical milestone marks the final stage of structural work where the permanent asphalt wearing course is being applied. Makoni Nyambaza Road Construction Project. Servicing work is currently underway on the Makoni Nyambaza Road Construction Project. This phase marks significant progress towards completing this key infrastructure initiative, which will enhance connectivity and economic growth. Matopos Road Rehabilitation Project. Another infrastructure milestone for Blawaya Metropolitan Province. The official site for the rehabilitation of Matopas Road has been handed over to Zada Construction Company by the Minister of Transport and Infrastructure Development. In other news, the old S. Godini Road to Bridgman Road Construction Company. This project involves the full rehabilitation of the old Essigodin Road, a crucial infrastructure upgrade that will enhance connectivity, improve road safety, and boost economic activity in the region. Bulawayo Nkai Road Construction Project. Servicing work is now underway on the Bulawayo Nkai Road Construction Project, enhancing road quality and connectivity. In other news, Forbes border post in Manikaloin province. Early works have begun at the Forbes border post in Manikaloin province with bush clearing underway for the new off-site parking and clearing facilities. This project will go a long way in decongesting the border and eliminating long queues. Watch out for more updates. Going back to Bulawayo Victoria Falls Rehabilitation Project. The Bulawayo Victoria Falls Rehabilitation Project is taking shape. Construction is now in progress on the 80 km stretch from Bulawayo City, thus enhancing connectivity and travelers' experiences.
Please stay tuned for more updates on this vital infrastructure project linking Bulawayo to Victoria Falls. Mocheke River Bridges Construction is in progress on the Mocheke River Bridges, locally known as Chimusana, as part of the Mashingo Urban Bypass Project. Two bridges are under construction to streamline traffic. The new Mocheke Bridge will carry northbound traffic, whilst the existing bridge will be dedicated to southbound traffic. Manyame River Bridge Project The pouring of concrete for the primary structural beams is in progress on the Manyame River Bridge Project. Each beam is meticulously placed to ensure strength, durability and safety for decades to come. Water Pipeline Project The construction of a 22km water pipeline from Masimbura Dam to Bindura Town is underway in a development set to ease perennial water strategies that have plagued the, the mining town for decades. The pipeline is expected to boost water supply reliability and support both domestic and industrial demand in Bindura. As the journey continues, the renovations work at the National Sports Stadium of Zimbabwe in Harare, Zimbabwe is progressing very well, with pitch works already completed and the government is moving forward in the beautification of the stadium. Moving forward in other news, the Zimbabwean government is constructing the state-of-art Mosia Tunya International Cricket Stadium in Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe. The stadium is set to hold international cricket matches and other matches as well. The construction of a 70 million United States dollar million cement plant in Chegutu is progressing well. The project is funded by Chinese investor Shantou Investment Private Limited. It's progressing steadily with the production schedule to begin early next year. Great progress is also witnessed at the Kunzi Dam construction project. With visible progress already transforming both the rural and urban districts of Zimbabwe, the government of Zimbabwe says it, is, it remains committed to delivering quality infrastructure that supports economic growth, regional trade and economic development. So these were some of the projects that we have given you for today. I thank you so much for watching. Please do share, subscribe, and like. In future, we are going to witness the upgrading of the Mbare Musika bus terminals project, which is set to begin in the next few days.